medium kick. Oh, uses the mic to get a buff. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, what a combo in a. YouTube land, what is good? It is your boy, B Heard, aka Prince, aka Brian, aka Prince Vegeta, without the hating, since we're getting that much closer to Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Um, I had this series before, the Road to Evo, commentary practice, all that good stuff, but it sucked because I was trying to do commentary and analysis when I was still trying to practice my commentary and analysis. I'll stop to make points, but I'm only going to do commentary for the most part um and the first person i'm gonna start with is none other than my boy my brother from another my midwest brother el chicote taunt button he's master now give him a golf clap for that one that one for being master and yeah, man, we're going to commentate some of his matches against Sticky Rice Panda, Complex Variables, and Shaquille's son? Shaquille? I'm going to call him that dude Shaq. Yeah, whatever. And yeah, man, we're going to watch some of these and see how they go. So let's start the show. And it's hard commentating by yourself. You got to work on your craft. It's definitely something that's not easy. Going with the yellow. I feel like, yeah, El Chicote has mods, so I don't think that's the normal costume that he usually wears in his stream, but that's one of the modded costumes. I feel like as soon as El Chicote gets in, he can really cause trouble for this Yurian, but, uh, you know, when Yurian's from distance and he's hitting you with that fierce, he can do some damage. And he got naked. He means business. No clothes. All right, back up. Can I just say, hold on, can I, can I just, hold on, can we, can we go back to the previous screen? I will say every Yurian starts off like this. They back up, they shoot the fireball, they just want to see what you want to do. Alright, continue. Nice jump over, nice jump over that cross up into a command grab because he was blocking, keep the pressure on this man. That's, oh, see, I like it, mixing it up. He's, Chakotay's doing a great job of just mixing it up. He's a command grab character, so he's going to put the pressure on him. And Chakotay is not wasting any time. As soon as he realizes he's blocking, he goes for the regular throw just to keep him honest. Because sometimes you can tech that, but obviously you can't tech command grabs. But he's keeping the pressure on him. Tries to go for a setup with the uh, target combo. Got the cross up into a peach. Okay, I like it. Jab out of it. Oh, got countered. Close to getting a stun. How are we going to stun him? Oh, goes for a crouching medium kick. Oh, uses the mic to get a buff. Uh, uh, uh. What a combo and a very convincing round one for Chakotay. Let's see what Sticky Rice could do in round number two. He's playing the more of the patient game, trying to respect it. I like it. Dash under, just get a cross up. Oh, but you got command grab and you're getting pushed to the corner. Yo, how does Chakotay know how to press the right button at the right time? Can we just talk about this? Hits him with the forward uh, medium punch. And then he hits him with a light kick button to hit the counter. That, I mean, that was just beautifully set up. And it goes under him to cross. Oh, I didn't even see that. It goes under him to go cross up. Oh, man. The neutral jump. Oh, with an interesting trade. I feel like Sticky Rice is really messing up. And I don't mean messing up in a disrespectful way. I feel like he's getting hit with so much pressure and mix-ups that he doesn't really know what to do. So the, the time that he gets to actually have an offensive turn, he's kind of just hitting every button. And Chakotay's on point. And I like that. Oh, ooh, hmm, that was weird. I figured that would hit. All right, we got throws. Fierce. Oh, it didn't hold the button to keep it going. The Desco misses. Okay, I like to check. Oh, Oh, come on, you gotta do the right EX there. Sets up Aegis, overhead, I like it. Jump out of the corner, nice throw escape. What we doing? Oh, the trade! Mmm. Sticky Rice offense wasn't, was weird. Like, he was getting offense, but it wasn't, like, there's few and far between. 
but he made his work. Oh, wow. EXP just to the corner. What are we doing? Oh, wake up headbutt. Hold that. Hold this fierce. Oh, nice jump out, but get thrown back into the corner. Chakotay is not letting you out. Oh, nice neutral jump. That should do it. Build that meter. Uh, uh. EX Peach. Oh, not enough to kill. Aegis don't care. Get hit with the sport heavy punch. My goodness. Very convincing. Um, Chakote had to work for that. That uh, the second round. He had to work for that. That's for sure. Or that third round, excuse me. But uh, Sticky Rice. Once he got some offense going, he was okay. But uh, just I felt like it was just execution errors. And that's really like when you get to this high level, is it is really just boils down to execution errors. I mean, if you're like when he hit the elbow. When Sticky Rice hit the elbow and he had a chance to hit him with the EX fireball that goes upward, he missed it. I mean, you gotta take advantage of your opportunities. Okay, so this match, I'll try to do more commentary rather than try to break stuff down. Uh, I'll mix it up. Let me know in the chat and um, the YouTube comments. Do you want more of a mixture of breaking it down or do you want more of a mixture of commentary like Brian practice your commentary? Let me know. Let your boy know. So we got complex. I'm gonna just say complex because of the complex media, and then I'm the you know, obviously call Shakota. Ultra flat Akuma. This should be very interesting, but it seems like Chakotay took it two rounds convincingly. I feel like El Chakotay is gonna do more of the same. He's just gonna get in and do damage and not waste any time. He's gonna, he's gonna he's gonna know what situations he puts you in and he's gonna see how you react to it and Chicote doesn't waste any time so if he could command grab you he's gonna do it he's just gonna play mind games in your head and I feel like that's very respectable okay Alright, backs off. Oh, that was an interesting trade with the uh, body slam to maybe get a cross up or a trade. Alright. Uses the mic buff. I like it. Oh, good pressure. Keeps it safe. Wow. You can't block forever, Mr. Complex. You're going to have to do something there. Oh, hits him with the tra uh, frame trap. Excuse me. Uh, took out they did. Oh, tries to parry that. I See, if we talk about that parry situation, I like the idea, but when you take gray health like that. Uh, see, I like the idea, but look at look at how much gray health he developed with that. Yeah, I, I don't know if it was worth the the juice was worth the squeeze right then and there, especially when you're down that much life. And then the Tatsu, and then he just holds under the block. Oh man, Chakotay's a bad boy. Hit him with the target combo. Cause he got it. You can't go from target com No, no. Cause that's not. That's forward. Excuse me. I'm wrong. I'm thinking of something else. Hit him with that Muay Thai knee. The jab check. Jumps over. Okay. What we doing, Complex? Get some offense going here. <sighs> the cross up. You block the cross up, but you don't block everything else underneath. And I, I feel like Chakotay's too good. As soon as he opens you up, it's a wrap. Cause he's just jumped. Look. Chicote is one of those people who, if he's not afraid of you, he literally goes all the way in. And that should be like a dub, Brian. Like a dub, Beard. Everybody should do that. But no, Chicote really does it. Watch. Corner carry. Look. Jump. Nothing. Jump. Nothing. Look. He, I mean, he's not scared of a DP. We haven't seen one DP attempt from Complex. I mean, that was the first demon flip we got. Crush counter. I like the combo. Keep the pressure going. Nice neutral jump. Oh, but you got hit by a crouching heavy punch. Oh, V reversal. Interesting. And with the demon grab. Mix up here. Oh, you guessed wrong. And it's weird, too, because for Complex to guess wrong, he was blocking the cross up. If you look at the film. He blocked like a lot of the uh, Chicote's cross ups. Then again, he did probably like 10 <laughs> in that match. I want to say he was 70%, but 70% doesn't cut it. 
Now, I try to watch three sets, but uh, if you know Chakotay, he don't rematch. <laughs> so that's why a lot of these matches are like one and done. Then again, he's playing against Platts, so like it's like so many, so much points if he loses. So I don't blame him, but still. Uh, and this last match for this video is uh, Chakotay versus Shaq. That's what I'm calling. <clears throat> Let's see. A lot of uh, Chakotay's opponents have been getting hit with like the cross up. They block the cross up, and then he gets hit with the low attacks right after to a ex peach. Now let's see how Shaq does this. Can he DP? Can he put that fear that fear of challenging you with your uh, anti airs? Let's see how he does. This is the path of my destiny. Or will Chakotay just do whatever he wants and he damn well pleases? Let's see. Okay. Dash is in, gets the command grab. You block and I'm going to not waste any time. Into a peach, I like it. It's all he's blocking, throw. Because that's a tech. Oh, the beaver versus with the trade. Okay, gets the throw of his own. Let's see what you're doing, Shaq. Okay, forward heavy punch. That hits twice, ladies and gentlemen. Jumps in, up, see? Can't get nothing after it, though, so I like it. He didn't follow up with a peach. Nice neutral jump. What we doing? There you go. Oh! Mm. I felt like he could have got more damage out of that. But maybe he went for a setup. I don't know what Shaq was thinking. Oh, he guessed wrong. If you don't like guessing, don't play Chakotay. I'm going to just tell you that. Bye now. He's going to push you in 50-50 situations and make you guess. Nice neutral jump on the follow ball. I got crush countered. Followed up. Tried to hit a meaty, but didn't work. Oh, nice combo right there. Chikote's still sitting on full bar. Doesn't even have to use it. Oh, nice neutral jump to avoid the heavy kick, but nothing doing. I like that. I like that. Activation to punish that with a DP. But what are you doing with the activation, though? That's what I need to know. I like the jump. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Keep that stun on him. That was smart. Okay, Shaq got the crush counter. What's he doing, though? Oh, Oh, ooh, that was interesting. Got the cross up, and then I'll do it. Can I see that again? Hold on. Activate it. Got Nadesco to come from the left side. Body splashed it. Then jumped again. He hits you with a double cross up, dog. How you feel about it? Wow. Wow. Chakotay is a bad dude. That's a bad dude. Wow. I mean, we only saw one. We didn't really think about it. We only really saw like one check with uh, Shaq. He only checked. He activated and did the DP. Uh, he neutral jumped a lot, but I feel like, like it's a basic fundamental fundamentals, especially with Chakotay. Chakotay, you see how he plays. If he has no threat of a. DP or anti-air, he goes ham and he hits you up, hits you, hits hits you with a lot of cross-ups. Yeah, man, Scott is a bad boy. You should definitely follow him, especially if you're an Armika player or you just like command grab characters. I feel like he's one of the better ones. I feel like he's on the rise. If there, if there was a 2018 on the rise uh, players to watch, he's definitely on that list for sure. He finished like 97th on his first Evo. Uh, he's definitely on that list. Um, that'll be it for this video. But more to come about this commentary practice slash pause. Whatever. I, I, it's going to be commentary practice because I'm just trying to get better. I'm letting you watch how I practice. And if you have any advice that you want to give me as I practice, I'll take that as well. If you ever want me to commentate your matches... I see Chakotay is my boy and I'm not saying that he's on the rise just because he's my boy I'm saying that he's on the rise because he can't go to every event but a lot of the events he goes to he kills and I feel like he's just a strong player and I feel like he's only gonna get better and like that's like it's duh 
So when that happens, I'm gonna be sitting here saying, I told you so, I told you so, I, I told you so. And yeah, like I said, if you ever want me to commentate your matches, please leave a comment. Leave your CFN. Uh, like my man Dark Inferno here. If you ever want to be a part of live, twitch.tv slash Prince be here too. Uh, this is going to be my way of giving back. So uh, I'm not going to critique because I'm a bronze player. I have no room to critique. But if I can help it get better, help you get better, whatever. Maybe an uh, outside eye watch your uh, replays and give a different perspective. Maybe that can help you improve your overall game. Excuse me. There will be a Twitter link to my man El Chicote Twitter. There'll be a YouTube link to my man El Chicote's YouTube. Please give him a follow on both. Actually, he has a Twitch too, so I might even get, leave his Twitch. I don't know. I might. I don't know. We'll see. But support my homie. Tell him be here sent you. And that'll be it for this video. Please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. All that good stuff. I'm out. Peace. I like how I have frame data.